So my research is all about developing mathematical models for environmental decision making. We all know that climate change is one of the major concerns today, and it is because of the increasing concentration of carbon dioxide emissions in the atmosphere. And most of this are from the burning of unsustainable resources such as uh, fossil fuels just to meet our energy demand. The research on sustainable energy is very significant to help us curb this um, emission of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And that is why I have decided to explore this type of research. And this is what I do. We try to figure out how to design the implementation of energy systems. There are a lot of energy systems available out there, different types of low carbon technologies, but how do we actually choose which ones to use? So my mathematical models help us in deciding or identifying which ones to utilize. But research on sustainable energy is not just about energy. It is very much integrated with other um, environmental and societal issues such as food and water sustainability. So for example, we know that um, carbon dioxide emissions are increasing because of our need for energy and we generate energy from fossil fuels. However, if we want more sustainable technologies to be able to generate energy, we can resort to the use of biomass. But biomass would require water resources in order for it to grow. And with the changes in the climate, we expect to have disruptions in the weather and water may not be readily available to grow the biomass that we have. In the Philippines, for example, some of the impacts of climate change can be felt by more extreme weather patterns. And now we're experiencing drought in some areas of the Philippines. In the Philippines, 14% of the energy or the electricity that we use comes from hydropower electricity. And if hydropower is not readily available, it results in electricity disruptions and even blackouts. How do we actually allocate the scarce resources that we have? So the mathematical models that I do helps us figure out how to allocate our resources efficiently. And I think the same issues um, and challenges will arise within the ASEAN nation. In the ASEAN, we can see that economic development is growing and it is home to 600 million people. But soon, our resources may also be limited to supply the needs of the population. So I think the work that I do is also significant in facing the challenges of the ASEAN. Winning the ASEAN US um, Science Prize for Women would really mean a lot to me, not just to me. It would mean a lot for the, our country, the Philippines, and I think it would mean a lot for anyone in the ASEAN region because it will show that we can produce internationally competitive research.